Neuschwanstein Castle Neuschwanstein is a 19th-century historicist palace on a rugged hill above the village of Hohenschwangau near Fusen in southwest Bavaria, Germany. The palace was commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria as a retreat and in honor of Richard Wagner. Ludwig chose to pay for the palace out of his personal fortune and by means of extensive borrowing, rather than Bavarian public funds. Construction began in 1869, but was never fully completed. The castle was intended as a private residence for the king, until he died in 1886. It was opened to the public shortly after his death. Since then more than 61 million people have visited Neuschwanstein Castle. More than 1.3 million people visit annually, with as many as 6,000 per day in the summer. The municipality of Schwangau lies at an elevation of 800 meters, 2,620 feet, at the southwest border of the German state of Bavaria. Its surroundings are characterized by the transition between the Alpine foothills in the south, toward the nearby Austrian border, and a hilly landscape in the north that appears flat by comparison. In the Middle Ages, three castles overlooked the villages. One was called Schwanstein Castle. In 1832, Ludwig's father King Maximilian II of Bavaria bought its ruins to replace them with the comfortable Neo-Gothic palace known as Hohenschwangau Castle. Finished in 1837, the palace became his family's summer residence, and his elder son Ludwig, born 1845, spent a large part of his childhood here. The ruins above the family palace were known to the crown prince from his excursions. He first sketched one of them in his diary in 1859. When the young king came to power in 1864, the construction of a new palace in place of the two ruined castles became the first in his series of palace building projects. Ludwig called the new palace New Hohenschwangau Castle, only after his death was it renamed Neuschwanstein. In the 19th century, many castles were constructed or reconstructed, often with significant changes to make them more picturesque. Palace building projects similar to Neuschwanstein had been undertaken earlier in several of the German states and included Hohenschwangau Castle, Liechtenstein Castle, Hohenzollern Castle, and numerous buildings on the River Rhine such as Stolz and Fels Castle. The inspiration for the construction of Neuschwanstein came from two journeys that Ludwig took in 1867, one in May to the reconstructed Wartburg near Eisenach, another in July to the Château de Pierfon, which Uge and Violet le Duc was transforming from a ruined castle into a historistic palace. The king saw both buildings as representatives of a romantic interpretation of the Middle Ages, as well as the musical mythology of his friend Wagner whose operas Tannhäuser and Lohengrin had made a lasting impression on him. In February 1868, Ludwig's grandfather King Ludwig I died, freeing the considerable sums that were previously spent on the abdicated king's appanage. This allowed Ludwig II to start the architectural project of building a private refuge in the familiar landscape far from the capital Munich, so that he could live out his idea of the Middle Ages. The building design was drafted by the stage designer Christian Jank and realized by the architect Edward Riedel. For technical reasons, the ruined castles could not be integrated into the plan. Initial ideas for the palace drew stylistically on Nuremberg Castle and envisaged a simple building in place of the old Werder Hohenschwangau Castle, but they were rejected and replaced by increasingly extensive drafts, culminating in a bigger palace modeled on the Wartburg. The king insisted on a detailed plan and on personal approval of each and every draft. Ludwig's control went so far that the palace has been regarded as his own creation, rather than that of the architects involved. Whereas contemporary architecture critics derided Neuschwanstein, one of the last big palace building projects of the 19th century, as kitsch, Neuschwanstein and Ludwig II's other buildings are now counted among the major works of European historicism. For financial reasons, a project similar to Neuschwanstein, Falkenstein Castle,
Due to its secluded and strategically unimportant location, the palace survived the destruction of two world wars. Until 1944, it served as a depot for Nazi plunder that was taken from France by the Reichsleiter Rosenberg Institute for the Occupied Territories, Einsatzstab Reichsleiter Rosenberg für die Besetzten Gebiete, a suborganization of the Nazi Party. The castle was used to catalog the works of arts. After World War II 39 photo albums were found in the palace documenting the scale of the art seizures. The albums are now stored in the United States National Archives. In April 1945, the SS considered blowing up the palace to prevent the building itself and the artwork it contained from falling to the enemy. The plan was not realized by the SS Group and Führer who had been assigned the task, however, and at the end of the war the palace was surrendered undamaged to representatives of the Allied forces. The Allied occupation authorities eventually returned the palace to the reconstituted Bavarian state government. Thereafter the Bavarian archives used some of the rooms as a provisional store for salvaged archival material, as the premises in Munich had been bombed. The effect of the Neuschwanstein ensemble is highly stylistic, both externally and internally. The king's influence is apparent throughout, and he took a keen personal interest in the design and decoration. An example can be seen in his comments, or commands, regarding a mural depicting Lohan Green in the palace His Majesty wishes that the ship be placed further from the shore, that Lohan Green's neck be less tilted that the chain from the ship to the swan be of gold and not of roses, and finally that the style of the castle shall be kept medieval. The suite of rooms within the palace contains the throne room, King Ludwig's suite, the singer's hall, and the grotto. The interior and especially the throne room Byzantine Arab construction resumes to the chapels and churches of the Royal Sicilian Norman Swabian period in Palermo related to the kings of Germany House of Hohenstaufen. Throughout, the design pays homage to the German legends of Lohan Green, the Swan Knight. Hohenschwangau, where King Ludwig spent much of his youth, had decorations of these sagas. These themes were taken up in the operas of Richard Wagner. Many rooms bear a border depicting the various operas written by Wagner, including a theater permanently featuring the set of one such play. Many of the interior rooms remain undecorated with only 14 rooms finished before Ludwig's death. With the palace under construction at the king's death, one of the major features of the palace remained unbuilt. A massive keep, which would have formed the highest point and central focus of the ensemble, was planned for the middle of the upper courtyard but was never built, at the decision of the king's family. The foundation for the keep is visible in the upper courtyard, the palace complex is entered through the symmetrical gatehouse flanked by two stair towers. The eastward pointing gate building is the only structure of the palace whose wall area is fashioned in high contrast colors the exterior walls are cased with red bricks, the court fronts with yellow limestone. The roof cornice is surrounded by pinnacles. The upper floor of the gatehouse is surmounted by a crow-stepped gable and held King Ludwig II's first lodging at Neuschwanstein, from which he occasionally observed the building work before the hall was completed. The ground floors of the gatehouse were intended to accommodate the stables. The passage through the gatehouse, crowned with a royal Bavarian coat of arms, leads directly into the courtyard. The courtyard has two levels the lower one being defined to the east by the gatehouse and to the north by the foundations of the so-called rectangular tower and by the gallery building. The southern end of the courtyard is open, imparting a view of the surrounding mountain scenery. At its western end, the courtyard is delimited by a bricked embankment, whose polygonally protracting bulge marks the choir of the originally projected chapel, this three-nave church, never built was intended to form the base of a 90-meter, 295-foot, keep, the planned centerpiece of the architectural ensemble. A flight of steps at the side gives access to the upper level. The bower, which complements the knight's house as the lady's house but was never used as such, defines the south side of the courtyard. Both structures together form the motif of the Antwerp castle featuring in the first act of Lohan Green. 
Embedded in the pavement is the floor plan of the planned palace chapel. The western end of the courtyard is delimited by the palace hall. It constitutes the real main and residential building of the castle and contains the king's stateroom and the servants' rooms. The palace is a colossal five-story structure in the shape of two huge cuboids that are connected in a flat angle and covered by two adjacent high gable roofs. The building's shape follows the course of the ridge. In its angles there are two stair towers, the northern one surmounting the palace roof by several stories with its height of 65 meters. 213 feet. With their polymorphic roofs, both towers are reminiscent of the Chateau de Purfon. The western palace front supports a two-story balcony with view on the Alp Sea, while northwards a low chair tower and the conservatory protract from the main structure. The entire palace is spangled with numerous decorative chimneys and ornamental turrets, the court front with colorful frescoes. The court side gable is crowned with a copper lion, the western, outward, gable with the likeness of a knight. Had it been completed, the palace would have had more than 200 interior rooms, including premises for guests and servants, as well as for service and logistics. Ultimately, no more than about 15 rooms and halls were finished. In its lower stories the palace accommodates administrative and servants' rooms and the rooms of today's palace administration. The king's state rooms are situated in the upper stories, the anterior structure accommodates the lodgings in the third floor, above them the hall of the singers. The upper floors of the west-facing posterior structure are filled almost completely by the throne hall. The total floor space of all floors amounts to nearly 6,000 square meters, 65,000 square feet. Neuschwanstein is a global symbol of the era of Romanticism. The palace has appeared prominently in several movies such as Helmut Kottner's Ludwig II, 1955, and Lucino Visconti's Ludwig, 1972, both biopics about the king, the musical Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. 1968, the spoof comedy Spaceballs and the war drama The Great Escape, 1963. It served as the inspiration for Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle, Cameron Palace in the animated Pokémon film Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, 2005, and later similar structures. It is also visited by the character Grayson Akimura alongside Heron Kimze in the game The Beast Within. A Gabriel Knight Mystery, 1996. In 1977, Neuschwanstein Castle became the motif of a West German definitive stamp, and it appeared on a two euros commemorative coin for the German Bundesländer series in 2012. In 2007, it was a finalist in the widely publicized online selection of the new Seven Wonders of the World. Since 2015, Neuschwanstein and Ludwig's Linderhof and Heron Chiemsee palaces are on the German tentative list for a future designation as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. A joint candidature with other representative palaces of the Romantic Historicism is discussed, including Schwerin Palace, for example.